One thing fall usually brings with it is the changing of the seasons. When most of us have come home from that last family trip and we're back in the office catching up with colleagues after summer vacations and all of us in Kentucky buckle down to get everything done before October when it's Keeneland and the horses are running. And I know a lot of you are trying to jumpstart your September productivity, even though you feel like, hey, I really didn't have much of a summer or a summer vacation and I'm not really fully relaxed, Dave. I totally get it, I do. Unfortunately, I don't have a magic potion that will turn you into a super producer, although Starbucks might, if you haven't been over there recently, a lot of caffeine. Today, I wanna to start with a couple of questions I've been hearing from folks lately. First, several clients have asked me that age old question, exactly how much money do I need to save in order to retire at 65? Now, this question typically comes from those client families who are the most organized and the most focused on saving for retirement already. These are the 20 percenters. Remember that old 80-20 rule? Well, these folks are usually frugal and they, they want to have a set monthly amount to save, right, that they're putting away, just as they know how much their mortgage or a car payment is each month, and they want to write a check and be done. And it would be great to be able to say, sure, you can save $32.96 each month and you'll retire happily at 65. However, things happen along that path, such as market volatility, right? Inflation or the lack thereof, and other factors that can significantly affect the best laid plans. And if you ask Google, hey Google, how much do I need to save? The answer usually comes back along the lines of as much as you can. And any calculator will tell you that the more and the earlier you save, the better off you'll be in 20 to 30 years, surprise. But the problem is, unlike that mortgage, there's no guarantee that if you make X number of payments, you'll have X number of dollars at retirement. So now the question becomes, okay, so if there's no guarantee, then why would I put my money into the stock market at all as I save for retirement, college, or my midlife crisis sports car or boat? The answer to that is simple. Investing in the stock market allows you to participate in what some have called the greatest wealth creator of all time. It's not perfect, and some years it does go down. But when you invest in the US stock market, you're making a bet that American businesses will grow and innovate over the timeline that you need your money to grow as well. So with that said, you probably don't wanna put your money in the stock market that you'd plan to use in less than two years. But anything past that, go ahead. So now you're thinking, Dave, just tell me how much money I need to save. Well, thankfully, our team does use e-money software that allows us to actually build out a, a funding of your future needs on a monthly basis. We compound that over time and we back that into your current savings goals. And then we can make a recommendation for you based on those exact numbers. And I'll be honest, you may not like the number, but we'll help you come up with it. If you'd like us to help you come up with a savings number that works for you, please let our team know. Just give us a call today.